This video is an introduction to the MD960U camera. I stumbled upon this camera as a last resort when our Cavo multimedia system components started to fail with no replacement parts. I wanted something inexpensive I could put in place as a temporary solution until I found something better. At this price point and given their very good quality, they haven't been replaced. Hopefully this video will answer a lot of questions about the camera and its general use. The camera has six LED lights and is advertised to have a Sony quarter inch, two megapixel Sony camera. It has an on off button and mirroring capability. There is also a capture button on the camera that will freeze frame the image and in some cases save the image depending on the software that you use. Different imaging programs have different configurations in how images are actually captured. The cable is very soft, uh, about six feet. It's a USB cable. The camera comes with a driver and its own software that is Windows compatible. I have the, had this camera running on Windows XP, Windows 7 Home Edition, Windows 7 Professional, and Windows 8.1 over the years. I have even had it running on Windows 8.1 RT on a Windows Surface Pro 2 which I bring to seminars to answer questions about the camera. You can get this camera from eBay or Amazon pretty easy. I have ordered about 15 of these cameras on eBay and the packaging or shipping have never been an issue. Uh, when they first came out they were around $300. Now you can get them for around $200. There are even volume purchase options to get them around $180 each. The USB cable often gets run over by chairs and that's most likely what you'll need to replace. We've had cameras in all eight operatories for well over a year and I've had to replace one and I'm not really sure it was the camera uh, or the cable in that case. Uh, at $180 I have a stock of them on hand. So what kind of computer do I need? If you intend to just use a camera and a PC with the supplied software that came with it, you can use pretty much anything. The issue comes when you want to run a dental imaging program along with practice management systems on the PC with the camera. Obviously, you'll need the recommended minimum configuration from your software vendor for that. In our office, we use Apple Mac Mini computers that run Windows 7 through Parallels. Typically, I have heard that a minimum PC configuration is a Pentium i3 Windows 7 Pro with 8 gigabytes of RAM. You'll also need available USB ports for the camera, potentially an x-ray sensor, and potentially a foot pedal, so keep that in mind. I use a powered USB hub off the Mac Minis to accomplish this as some of the workstations still have a USB keyboard and a mouse. Here's how I have them mounted in the hygiene rooms and in the operatories. In future videos, I will cover the driver and software installation, the use of the camera with supplied software and Windows features, and then the use of the camera with two other imaging systems, Dentrix Image 4.5 and Dexas 10. Thanks for watching the intro video.